Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video and in this video we're going to be looking at the strike token wheel and we're going to be doing some pulls. I think there's a, it's a pretty amusing name considering all things that are happening right now with Players United and stuff uh, calling it the strike token wheel. Someone's either got a very very uh, wicked sense of humour or they have no clue what's going on. Uh, either way I think it's pretty funny and we look at this, this is the offer it's 89 pence probably like 99 cents or even 89 cents for two pulls on the strike token wheel these are the old slash tokens in terms of the the visuals it is the shiva slashing at the coin basically um, you only get two pulls and the odds of getting something are very very low one percent i believe at an ascendable really really low odds it's worse than a promo pull because you can even get 45% I think at getting a 3 star which you cannot get on promo wheel. Now they haven't done offers like this for a very long time and if we check the missions right now there is obviously event missions because it's definitely an event to spend money apparently that the strike token bonus and you get basically your choice of ice cream cones or blue keys if you you know buy and pull a certain amount. Now the first one is 3. So if it would have been, you know, three pulls for that 99 pence, that would have been, you know, that would have been good all round. It would have been a fairly decent offer. I don't think this is a very good offer at all. So you're probably thinking, look down, if you don't think this is a good offer, why are you buying it? Because I have the very fortunate situation where these sort of low-end offers I can buy, create content around, and they don't cost me anything, basically because I can make my money back off of these with a video. I am very fortunate in that. I can stick to the 99 pence ones, and this one's 89 pence. I'm doing it on two regions, and we'll look at the characters that are on this wheel. There are some, th there are four ascendables. One's Diego, who is a pretty good character. Alice is like my unicorn, as Moon would say. I, I've wanted her for, for ages. I pulled her quite, I've pulled for her quite a few times. I wish I pulled her quite a few times, but I've pulled for her quite a few times. And then we've got Sherry, and I believe it is Mercer. These are the last two Ascendables. They're okay. I wouldn't say they're spectacular. They're okay defensive characters, I guess. And then the rest are five stars, four stars, and three stars. If we look at the odds, really poor, like I said. 1% at five star Ascendable, 14 at five star. So the odds of getting a one star, uh, sorry, the odds of getting a five star or a five star Ascendable are probably the same as the Premier Wheel, maybe slightly increased here but the majority of that percentage is, is, is going to be in the five stars. And instead of having an 88% chance, or whatever it is, 89% chance of getting a four star, you also have a 45% chance of getting a three star. Three stars should not be on any of these wheels anymore. Definitely not. Three stars are basically one stars in the five star era. Like, they definitely shouldn't be in here. They weren't in there in the five star era in terms of one stars weren't in the wheel, two stars weren't in the wheel. Like, four stars, it would have been better if this was like, I don't know, 20% 5 star, I'd, I'd say the 5 star assembly has to be at least 2%, like that's still less than the promo wheel, to be honest. The promo wheel I believe is 2.6 or something like that, yeah, you're looking at 0 0.6 plus 1.5, okay so it's 2.1, it should be around at least 2% I would say, and then 10% at a 5 star and then 88% at a 4 star. Yeah, these odds are terrible. I, I wouldn't recommend pulling. I've got two pulls on each of my regions. We'll try and pull on someone someone nice, someone I'm feeling it on. Now, if I get a good pull, it doesn't mean that this is suddenly a good will. This is, it just means I've been lucky. The odds on this will are very, very bad. Who are we gonna pull on? Okay, we'll pull on Sadiq because he's Telltale. This is Telltale Sadiq. We see if we can get anybody. <laughs> we can get Clementine. Oh, we get Lily for a second. I thought that was Sherry. For a second, I thought that was Sherry. So yeah, that's what mainly you're going to get because that's I think that's 45% at you know getting that three star and 40% at getting that four star. So it's 85% chance of getting a three star or four star, and that's pretty much what you're going to be paying your one pound for or your one dollar for. So whether you think that that low end is is worth the the risk, it probably isn't. It, even even that even with that lower price, it really I don't think it's worth it in my opinion. I'm gonna switch to my other region though and see what we can get there. Okay, in the other region now, I'm gonna pull on that Tyrese. I'm gonna actually look at him before I pull on him. I've not seen this five star Tyrese before. I've seen him as a four star. 
in the armor. But I've not seen him as a five star. So I think this is quite a rare character. I've not seen this one before. If we look at this one. Devastating blow, 75 AP. So they must have come late. All strong teammates get 30% defense and a very large bonus to AP. I mean, that's a pretty decent leader score in the five star era. But the rush is really, really slow. Well, Paul, give me something. Oh, we get a five star. We get a five star. Okay. For a second, I got, I got, uh, I got mooned. <laughs> uh, Co Command Morgan is a five star. He'll probably be fodder. I think he's a duplicate. Um, what are five star odds? Ten percent, fourteen percent. So it's actually reasonable to get a five star from four po four pools, I guess. Fairly reasonable, but nothing special, nothing rare. He's in depot. I think he's in the five star depot. So, but that's it in my video. Thank you very much for tuning in. And as always, keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving.